speed play along with um, Up To Me from the Aqualung album from 1971. I hope I'm getting that right now. Was it 70 or 71? I think it was 71. Alright, so yeah, it's got a cool riff in it, doesn't it? This riff, everybody I think tries to overthink this riff. Uh, it's actually simpler than most people try to make it. The Covers I see on YouTube uh, doesn't seem like anybody's quite got it right. I think the most common one I see is I 
which, uh, you know, isn't right. It's much simpler than that. It's played right here in this position, the key of E. So you kind of slide down from the B, land on this G. So you start here on this E, you slide off the B, down to G, and then you kind of start back up. So there's a little slide. So it kind of slides both ways, down and then back up. All right, so in the next part of the lick, it's you hit the open E string on the bottom. And most of the time he's doing a quick. And you gotta make that D note staccato. Jump down to the G. And then you do a hammer on. So that's all that lick is. It's, it's simpler. I try to make it too complicated too. All right, so that's that lick. <clears throat> when the verses start, it's an E minor and going to a D, a C, A minor, and then back to D. The picking pattern is. You'll hear that. Hammer on the D string. It kind of comes up and grabs the open G string on the way back. Then to the D. He does a similar thing, he plays the open A and then hammers on the G string before doing that run down to the next chord. Then he goes to a C and the C sounds a little bit different because the bass guitar is playing a, a third in the bass, so it's playing the open E. So the C chord sounds a little bit different than probably you're used to. So hammer on on the D string. A minor. You pick the open G again and go back to the E minor. So those are the, the riff and the verses are all the same. The only thing is that little bridge in the middle where I'm a common working man. So he's just playing the uh, upper three strings here. So he's playing the D string here, the B string here. The other notes are open, other strings.
not sure if he's playing the full E minor triad there or just probably doing that. So we're playing an E minor triad there. So he does that twice. And then he goes to this E, uh, A minor nine. So we're barring across here. We got that we are playing now the A in the bass. So just laying across here, and we just have this fretted on the E string. And this is really a strange progression here because he goes. So he, he makes it a major seven chord just briefly there. So A minor nine. That's really, really strange progression. And uh, if you see him play it live uh, more recently, he doesn't do he doesn't do play these chords anymore. It, it does something in A minor, but that's not what he did on the record. This is really E minor. Major for a second, and then you take it back off. Make it major again, and then minor, major, and minor. See, that's that's really strange. Back to a C chord and then back to an E minor chord. All right, so that's it. Um, you know, cool. They do that little pause at the end. end the song so there's a little pause there so pretty simple song that's it just has that strange bridge Till next time. See you later. Bye.